Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about some of the Wiccan books that I own. So basically if you don't know what Wicca is that's like a whole other thing. It's basically like a modern day type of witchcraft that some people practice but I've just been getting into it and some of you guys know that. I've been getting into it for the past six or seven months, maybe. Um, but I thought I'd share to you, with you guys today some of the books that I own related to Wicca. And yes, um, so this has to do with like astronomy, horoscopes, crystals, tarot books, stuff like that. So I have a little tiny collection here. I thought I'd share them with you guys. And yeah, I don't make videos like this all the time, but I thought since it was still book related and some of you guys are interested in the whole Wicca thing that I've talked about, then you might want to hear it. So let's get into it. First up here, I have Crystal Therapy, How to Heal and Empower Your Life with Crystal Energy by Doran Virtue and Judith Lemoski. So this book I have just looked through briefly, but this one has all the crystals and their meanings. It has a bunch of them and it's really nicely formatted. So I really like this one. I just got this one the other day. So I got a book on palm reading, a very little book. Um, this is just a little book about palm reading, how to do it, what all the lines mean. And yeah, it's super cute. I haven't like read through this one yet. I just got it, but I thought I'd mention it. This is one of my favorites, which is the Little Book of Witchcraft. I know a lot of you guys have picked this up on my account, which I really appreciate because I really, really enjoyed this book, but this is just full of history, the signs, the tools. It's a great little starter guide that I'd highly recommend checking out if you're interested. I also got this little pamphlet in the in this little box of crystals that I got, but it's the power of crystals and crystal grids. And it's this just has a little bit of info in it. It's not even really a book. I don't know why I'm showing it to you one that I'm currently really loving and that is the Book of Tarot but this is a guide for modern mystics by Danielle Noel so this one is by the same publishing company Andrews McNeil Publishing as the Little Book of Witchcraft which I love their like I love that publishing company they like send me poetry and stuff like that and I always love their collections but not the point um, in terms of books like this they really do them well and they're so aesthetically pleasing just like the other ones so this one is absolutely stunning and it has beautiful tarot um, pictures of the tarot cards and then it has the message the questions to be asked asked um, what it means when it's reversed and this just has more info than a lot of the other tarot books that I've seen and it's stunning too as well so I've been I looked I was reading through this one a little bit this morning when I was doing my tarot reading and stuff but yes next up here is witch and this is by L Lisa Lister I uh, this is unleashed untamed I'm apologetic so this is kind of just like a woman like someone talking about it um giving some suggestions things like that I have read only a little bit of this one I read about like seven pages the narration is a little bit um you know you have to be like that certain like you have to be a certain type of person to like enjoy the narration so definitely if you're gonna pick it up like go look at an e-copy online or something to make sure like read a sampler online to make sure that you will like this um hopefully I'll get around to reading it let me know if it's worth it because the first like little bit that I read I wasn't too into but Apparently it's a pretty popular one, so we'll see. Next here I have How to Deal Tarot for Everyday Life, and this is written by Sammy Main and illustrated by Marissa De La Penne. So this is actually my art copy, but this is actually out now. It came out in May. But this is a young adult guide to tarot cards. It's very good for like younger readers. Um, I'd say if you're probably like my around my age, like 16, 17, and you want to get into tarot, maybe start with like definitely start with one of the other books that I suggested. This is like, if you're like, probably like 13, 12, 11, whatever. Um, just because the language in it is really juvenile. So just be aware of that, but it has some solid information. This book got me into tarot. Like I requested this book from the publisher because I wanted to get into tarot. So it did that job for me and provided me with like good spread, like good spreads to do for my tarot readings and yeah. If I'm saying all the terminology wrong, like don't mind me, like I'm like a beginner, so don't judge me too hard. I picked up this one the other day. This is the astrology of you and me. This is how to understand and improve every relationship in your life by Gary Gold Schneider. Schneider. And this is a beautiful book about 
astronomy and zodiac signs and it's absolutely stunning i'm so excited to look more through this one last but not least here i have practical magic and this is by nikki van de Karn, illustrated by katie vernon and this book is about crystals horoscopes crystals horoscopes psychics and spells and this one's also really beautiful i really enjoyed this one i gave this one like around four stars it talks about auras all that sort of stuff it's a great one as well so there you guys have it those are some of the wiccan wicca books that i own some witchy books that i own let me know if you have any down below if you do identify as wiccan if you've heard of it before if you haven't heard of it um, things like that. Again, it's not for everybody and I understand this why people are skeptical or like prejudge before they n look into it, but refrain from that because I'll delete your comments. Thanks. Um, <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you super soon. Bye.